cents. This is probably going to be a two, two, two dollar, maybe two and a half stop when it hits. Just kind of giving you some estimates here. Actually, this is moving really slowly. I'm not so sure this is open. One, the spread, and two, it's moving really slowly. Okay, the stop in this is going to be 79.65 and I don't have the entry yet. And we are going to, we're going to, let's do 99. I'll just wait. Let's do 99 by 65, 77.99 by 79.65. And again, if you can't figure out these numbers with the sizing, then you need to, then you need to get a calculator. 99 by 65, but it's 77.99. I do think this hits. Here, do it. You can do it right now here at 20. Do it at 78.20 and put the stop at 79.65. You can do it. You can be in it. Or you can wait for it to break at, break 78, whichever you want to do. Just make sure you have the stop at 79.65. This is just what it is. But I think we're, we're okay. I think we're okay with the spread here. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. This is the best gap today. The target is 75. So the risk to reward is here. Very spready though. Extremely spready though. Unbelievably spready. And that is what it is. Okay. Okay, you can watch 77, 77, 13 to peel out a sum if you want. Basically got to 77. And AXP is going, so I like this too. I like this too, but I wanted to do what we normally do today, which is a short and a fast exit, and we're going to get out of this fast. We are absolutely going to get out of this fast today. Hands down, absolutely. And you could be out of it already, but I'm going to try to hold it a baby amount more. But AXP went. So one bullish gap, one bearish gap today. Just wanted to focus on what we normally do and have a fast day. Fast, quick, quick. Under 77. Here, here we go. Here we go. Hand to the button, everybody, to get a drop down in this. One more sell-off. Here we go. Nice call. Nice trade, nice call. This was the best gap. Again, to the downside. Come on, you can do it. And just get this down to 76. Come on, you can do it. 76.81. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. This is going. 140 is a target in this. We could have done them both. One. Oh, 
hoping we start to see some good uh, short moves into next week. It's been tough for the shorts. I mean, it really has. It's been really rough going for the shorts. This pretty much all of 2020. Even for day trades. I mean, we've gone long a lot. I, I, I mean, it's just it is what it is. This has got one more drop off, one more drop off, one more drop off. We just saw an invisible tick. All right, that's a good sign. There we go. Jackie's out of it. Is anybody else? And then whatchamacallit yesterday, Comcast had a really nice move. Really nice move for those of you that stuck with it. Uh, the second second call. Here we go. DFS. Here we go. Under 80, under 80, under 80. Let's try to get this down as hard as we can to 76. Yes. Oh, nice Friday. Super break 70, yes. Super break 60, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Crap, come on. I know it has more to go. 69, 61. What is the problem with this? This is going to 140. All right, really nice trade here. You could be out of it. If you're trying to squeeze more out of it, you're still in it, or you got out of it. Who's doing what? Write it in the run. Who's doing what? I'm trying to hold this a little more. So you could be out of it. We're, we have such a good price on this. Um, Jackie's doing AXP long. Make sure you have the stop at the right place in this. This is going to swing around. It's going to swing around. It had a nice lift there out of the gate. We This wasn't any better than what we did. This was a big, big, big stop for this one. And to be honest with you, I probably would have been out right up, right into this run up. It would have been like a buck. I don't think I'd still be in this at all. This is absolutely going to swing, swing, swing. It's not going to go straight right up to 140. So if you did that, I didn't make any official call on that. you got to make sure that you have a stop at the right place. Here we go. DFS, one break of 60, and then maybe it'll, then wherever it goes. Wherever it goes, will be out. Under the low, wherever it goes, this is the last bit, then out. I do think this has some kind of nice sell-off here with a straight down. It hasn't happened yet. It's been really herky-jerky. Um, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in here, this is going to have a nice sell-off. I hope it happens in this far, but if not, it's probably going to happen later in the morning or early in the afternoon because it's been back and forth, back and forth, but we got it. We got a perfect price in this. We couldn't have done any better. It's been a good week. It's been a good year. It's been a good month, and it's not over. What is today, the 24th? One more week in January. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We were supposed to get snow tomorrow. Now they say rain. Here we go. Under the low. Oh, come on. Here. This is like, come on. Do it already. Yay! Yay! Here we go! Who's still in it? Try to let it break 50! Here we go! We can get it out of this in the teens. We can get it to the teens, the teens, the teens. 
Ah, no, crap, I'm out. I don't have the patience anymore. Great trade, great trade. 76.50 was a target. It's been too herky-jerky. I do think this gets to 75 today. I think this gets to 75 today. I think this gets to 140. I do not know if it is today, but that is where it is going. Let me look at the banks. Any questions from anyone at all? Great day, great day. And let's get back into a groove here of the shorts.